next important result from complex analysis is the maximum principle, sometimes referred to as the maximum modulus principle. We'll let omega in C be a bounded domain, so we'll have a bounded open subset that is connected. Then if we have a holomorphic map which is holomorphic at every point of omega and continuous on the boundary, then the maximum of the absolute value of f occurs exactly on the boundary. So a holomorphic map, when you take its modulus, the resulting function cannot have an interior maximum. Now we can give a proof of the maximum principle, which is rather elementary. And this proof is taken from Alexander Isaev's 21 lectures on complex analysis, which I would highly recommend. So suppose f is a non-constant holomorphic map on omega, which is continuous on the boundary. And suppose that there's a point z0 in the interior for which the modulus of f of z0 is greater than or equal to the modulus of f of z for all z in some small neighborhood of z0. By the open mapping theorem, we know that if we take the image of this small open neighborhood, that will give us another small open neighborhood. If we look at this image, we'll look at the point f of z0, and we'll take a small neighborhood around it, and the length of the line from the origin to this point f of z0 is exactly the modulus of f of z0. Now, since we have a small neighborhood around this, I can look at another point f of z1 in this neighborhood, and then draw the corresponding line from the origin. The length of this line clearly exceeds the length of the line from the origin to f of z0. And in particular, that tells us the absolute value of f of z1 is strictly greater than the absolute value of f of z0. Of course, this violates the assumption that f of z0 exceeds f of z for all z in this disk, and that gives the desired contradiction.